Legend Total War here, and today we've got a rating your Doomstack video covering a Reichland Volkmar the Grim uh, Warrior Priest spam army. So, yeah, it's just 19 Warrior Priests. I think they've been leveled up to maximum. Doesn't look like they've got any, any equipment on them, though. I'm not seeing any special items or anything. And uh, Volkmar is on his mobility scooter, and uh, we're up against two armies of uh, the Cult of Pleasure. Uh, with some dangerous units in here, but most of it's just melee infantry. So it'd be interesting to see what, like, just a massive amount of the Grand Soulfire, or the Soulfire would do, um, to them. But I imagine that the monsters would probably give us the hardest time. That and the Black Art Corsair Hambos, because we won't actually be able to catch them. So I'll probably need to use the Banishment on them, if we can get them into a blob. But yeah, if you are going to hero spam... You know, put in the real effort and make sure they've got their equipments. I mean, it can be a bit tedious, like, clicking on each of them to have a look at what abilities they've got. But if they've got no equipment attached, then I'm going to be pissed. But we'll see, because, like, a bit of extra resistances would help. If we have a look at Volkmar here, 25% um, missile resistance. That, I don't know, that feels low. 5% physical, 30% ward save. So, essentially 60% missile resistance if it's physical, which it would be. Okay. Alright, here we go. Go in. Just gonna charge straight at something here. I know Malachus is coming in from the rear, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Just gonna straight in on these. So we can pop this down for the board save, but we'll wait until we're actually taking some serious damage. The artillery is not concerning me too much. Okay, let's let's get on the blood rack Medusa. Alright, let's do that. And they got Dark Conduit, which isn't gonna do anything to us, doesn't hurt single entities. Alright, let's try and take out these Hydras before- Oh, Malekith is going to be here real soon. Okay, ready? Ready? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Ready? Ready? Ooh, that, that's noisy. Ready? <laughs> Come on. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. But was it good? That's the big question here. So I think the easiest way to keep track of them is just to do it all at the same time, rather than doing them individually. Alright, so I'm saving that for the Black Art Corsair Handbows, not for these guys here. It's got a health potion, might as well just use it. I'm not too concerned about the enemy artillery. So, the uh, Volkmar's uh, battle prayers stack with theirs, but if I was to do two of these at the same time, it would only affect, like, it, just one effect would happen. So if you have a look here, Shield of Faith, if I click this, it'll just reset it. Same thing with that. Oh man, I think you need a, a life wizard in this army. Gonna try to make sure they're active at all times. Okay, we ready for this? Mm, just wait a bit longer. Alright, yeah, get rid of the Black Art Corsair handbows. Alright, here we go. That's gonna spread out amongst a whole lot of them here. This one here couldn't activate it. Man, that just deletes melee infantry. Really need a life wizard in here. Like, big time. Crazy how fast this fight is happening. Battle 
Problem is, the ones that are rampaging, I can't get them to select their abilities. But, you know, that's just because we're going up against Witch Elves in here. That's what they do. Sure you stay together. Okay, Malekith is almost dead. We haven't lost anyone yet, but we're pretty badly damaged. I'd say a life wizard in this is essential. Like having one fewer warrior priest is not gonna matter. Oh shit, the guy's gonna die. Possibly. A few more seconds, another soul fire is coming down. One of them, ah, I'll just wait for that. I don't know which one it is. Damn it. Malika's probably popping down his abilities as well. Just giving us cooldown on it. Come on, six more seconds. Yeah, that guy will be fine as long as he runs away. There we go. Good. Seems like it's pretty good against... Oh, yeah, you just run. Pretty good against single entities as well. I think Malekith is gone. I don't see him anywhere. We'll never catch up to the uh, Black Art Corsair handbows. But eventually they'll just run out of ammo. I don't know if that's going to be the best banishment of it. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, there's the army losses anyway. Alright, well, nobody died. But we definitely took a lot of damage. And it was really quick. So that's definitely a plus. I mean, <laughs> wait until you see tomorrow's disaster battle where I go up against two armies. <laughs> oh god. Uh, that's a, that's the story for tomorrow though. All right. So Yeah, we're done here. There's no more healing we could do. All right. Um I mean, those were fairly dangerous. Wasn't the most dangerous dark elf army I've ever seen. Um We felt a little bit squishy, and whenever we use a hero army, like, for example, the Thane army, the main thing about that was that they just took forever to die. Now, if we had corner camped, maybe it could have gone a little bit better. Um, but I want to have a look at this and see what improvements could be made, because I do like it. I do like it. Um... It's one of these bloody campaigns that is like turn a thousand and like the whole world is a piece of crap. Yeah, you know what? I think this is the same save file. It's from the same guy that sent in, you know that disaster where the whole world was owned by, um, uh, Hexoartal. I think this is the same one. In fact, this might have actually been the exact same fucking army that I had in that situation there as well. Alright, where is Volkmar? And then I took... Hang on, let me have a look. Here. Uh, if I click this, it's probably going to crash the game. There's no mods on it. Alright, let's have a look here. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no equipment on them. Alright, let's have a look at how Volkmar's been leveled up and, and whatnot. Um, the red line doesn't matter too much apart from stand your ground in this situation here. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> come on. That's pretty damn important. Doesn't really need the potion of healing. If you've gotten, like, that would have been good. 
Um, but the Iron Core Psycho, because he was most vulnerable to getting shot, because he's the biggest person in the in the thing. That if you can get his missile resistance up to ninety percent, which really shouldn't be that difficult, that would save a lot of damage. Yeah, Armor of Destiny is a good choice. I mean, it's not a one-man doom stack, so it's not just about that. But yeah, no equipment on these guys here. I mean, come on, man. Minus nine melee attack. Right there, on all of their units. That basically negates the difficulty penalty. Like, you got all this stuff here. Glittering scales. Might another minus five. Let me guess you got the brass cleaver in here somewhere as well. Like, this one here? Fucking hell. All this good shit, just, just sitting here. Brass Cleaver, 9 extra melee attack. Weapon Master, are these not disciplined? Yeah, look, I don't really expect you to go full disciplined. Hang on, oh, they've taken us in different areas there. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Yeah, look, um... I don't think any of... Oh, there, there's one that's disciplined. Alright, well, look. I think that a warrior priest army can potentially be really good, but this is the the worst one that you could make. Like this is just fucking lazy. <laughs> it's just really lazy. It's just like I'ma just recruit a whole bunch and just shove them into an army without any training or anything. Uh, Volkmar hasn't been leveled up very well, and I'm sure these guys have been leveled up just fine. It's not, it's not like you can go much wrong with them, but missing out on the equipment, God, they could have that could have been twice as strong. I think. I think that, that it could be a really good army, but yeah, you've got to put in a bit more effort than this. It's just really lazy. So, look, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. But, in terms of full potential, I think this has the possibility to eat, uh, get to a 9 out of 10. Um, I just think that this is just really lazily done, this particular one. But I actually think that a, like a good warrior priest army... Uh, we saw that we could dish out tons of damage with the abilities. Like, we wiped out the entire army in, like, seven minutes. Like, really, really quickly. There was a lot of force there as well. Um, and we had single entities that would just chomp down really quickly. Also, Life Wizard. Maybe a Fire Wizard as well. Probably don't need the Fire Wizard, but it wouldn't hurt. Um, instead of having two Warrior Priests. Um, yeah, definitely. A Life Priest is essential. Uh, sorry, Life Wizard. Because uh, you want to be able to heal them. We get so much more use out of it. So, this is what I'd say. This here, you know what, 6 out of 10 is maybe a bit harsh. It did beat the army, so I'll give it 7 out of 10. Let's, let's not be too harsh. I just don't like it when people are super lazy. Um, so, six, 7 out of 10 for this army, with the potential of 9 out of 10, if you give actual equipment to the warrior priests, you actually level up Volkmar to have missile resistance. You know, that's pretty damn important. And you put a life wizard in there. A, a fire wizard would be good, but I don't think it's essential. But yeah, if we were able to cast down Dwellers Below and also popping down um, Shield of Thorns, maybe even um, some some extra health, um, just give them a bit more stamina because they're, they're definitely a bit squishy. I don't think putting them on a horse is a good decision, so I definitely uh, think that on foot was the right call. But yeah, just like you have all of these items sitting in your on your inventory. Why didn't you at least equip some of them? Because, you know, apart from the stat bonuses, like, this would have provided a debuff on everybody. Like, that's a pretty massive debuff with gl just just one of them, right? Just, just one warrior priest with these, right? Okay, so, minus five melee attack. That stacks as well. So, minus 14 melee attack on all units in a, in a close area. And all of our guys have a 9 melee attack. So there's like a 20, 20 odd um, melee attack difference um, between the enemy forces and yours if you had just equipped these three items. And I'm sure there's more in here. Like this one here, you know, that's a, that's essentially a, a really good, um, like, Helm of Discord. Like, just that one alone would have made such a huge difference. So yeah, it's just super fucking lazy. That's all it is. But I do like the army. I do like the Warrior Priest army. I don't think it's um I don't think it's unstoppable. I don't think it could ever get to a ten out of ten. I just don't think that they they have the potential to be as tanky as say Th Thanes. Uh Thanes and Runesmiths, uh, as another example. Um but they, they do hit hard with their abilities, so melee infantry beware. Uh, absolutely annihilated them with those soul fires. Um but yeah, probably max potential would be a 9 out of 10 with that. 
Uh, anyway, that's the end of this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Curious to know what your thoughts. But yeah, put a bit more effort into it next time, and I would have given it a higher score. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.